it's pretty cool to look back and see where your your stream of thought, your stream of consciousness was taking you at a certain time. I definitely seeing the things around you and how it affects your thought process. It's, it's pretty cool to sit back and analyze once you watch a movie. So even though I make these videos for entertainment, it, it, it's fucking awesome for me to make them. Going back and seeing my footage and seeing all the, all the random things that happen and where my mind takes me from those simple little things. Badger? That's probably why I'll never really stay on topic in a vlog. I know a Magnum Dubstep, one of my first subs, she gave me uh, gave me a bunch of topics to talk about. And you know, I would love to <laughs> I would love to just sit down and like list out all those things, but there's no way I'll be able to concentrate that long. Yeah, I looked at the first two. I was like, well, I think it was music and movies were the first two topics on that list. I think I talked about me. I tried to talk about music for like five minutes and. Gentlemen, how are you? Oh, that's a sweet mustache. Yes, little whiskey saw the mustache. <laughs> but I probably won't stay on topic for more than two minutes at a time because we gotta do shit. We gotta warm our tire walls up. We gotta look at mustaches. We gotta ride some curves. Magnum, I will attempt to talk about some topics. <laughs> music, I fucking love hardcore music. That's what all my tattoos are from, um, different different hardcore bands that I love to listen to. Just kind of put a bunch of album covers together, wove some shit in the background, and, and it looks pretty sick. But yeah, that's the kind of music I like to listen to. But any kind of good music, anything anything made by real musicians, I will listen to. I fucking hate the cookie cutter formula music that most most pop music's made by today. It's all a formula of what's popular at the time. They got Little Whiskey and I were just talking about it last night, and uh, the new the new style, I guess, to make a hit song is you have a, you have a beat, you have whatever stupid fucking retarded party lyrics, and then. And then they have like a 12-second hook of an instrument. And you just repeat the hook of that instrument. Like we are saying, a lot of horn section lately is popular. And you can tell, you just look at the trend of the music lately. You have a sample of some like 12-second saxophone or trumpet. And you just run a breakdown off of that, and there you go. One million dollars in your pocket. Yeah, it was fucking more than a million. I shouldn't even say that. I can't even imagine how much... What was it? Is, is Talk Dirty to Me one of those songs? Yeah. Is that one. And then the new one by Florida. Um, the one on Do It With Dan's intro video. Which is the best, <laughs> it's the best intro video in all of YouTube. It's so fucking sweet. I love it. Love it. Jet ski for sale. I want a jet ski. I want a jet ski very badly. I also want a wakeboard. I've never had the experience of wakeboarding. But it looks fucking awesome. But anyway, you see where this, <laughs> you see where my thought process is taking me? Nowhere near movies or music. I went from music to wakeboarding in less than, what, two minutes? Oh. 
dude, I love my ZZR, but below <laughs> below 7,000 RPMs, I have nothing. My mid-range is terrible. Yeah, uh, what was the other list? I, I remember the list pretty clearly. It's the only list I've ever gotten from a sub, so. Mm. Movies, I like all comedies. I really like British humor. Uh, we were just watching Top Gear last night and this morning. So I'm a big fan of the Top Gear series. I know it's not a movie, but their specials are very movie-esque. <laughs> all right, he's going slow as shit. Uh, I like all of Monty Python's work. If you guys haven't seen Monty Python in the Holy Grail, it's my favorite movie of all time. I will definitely quote it. I, I quote it from day to day, so one of these vlogs will definitely have some Monty Python quotes in it. Yeah, British humor, comedy in general, I'm a big fan of. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it! Hello, horses! Hello, horses! Oh, uh, what else is on that list, Magnum? Ricers. I saw ricers there. And uh, I actually... <laughs> Not that I would ever own one, but I love, I love looking at them. Mostly because it makes me laugh. <laughs> it's just, it's so fucking pointless. Like, how much money are you willing to spend on a 1994 Honda Civic? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but anyway, I fucking, I love ricers just for that reason. They, they make me laugh. This road is ridiculous. I have such a good time on this road. No hand GPs. Oh. <laughs> I need throttle. Well, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. And um um um. Oh fuck it. <laughs> What else do we have to talk about, Magnum? Um, epic fails, I remember was one of those. And uh, cool stories. <laughs> I do have, I just thought of an epic fail story. Um, I was gonna take this girl out on a date to a comedy club back in Lancaster. And it was at, uh, it was at like this, this comedy club in a hotel that had um, a country club with it too. So it's just this huge complex, like, I, I wasn't exactly sure where the comedy club was. So we walk in, and we look around, and it was, uh, uh, it was a, who the fuck was it? I don't remember who the comedian was, but it was a black comedian, I remember that. So we walk in and there's all these old black couples dressed up really nice, like fucking dressed to the nines. They looked great. All this like old school 50s, 60s formal attire. And I'm standing there in fucking like jeans and a pretty, a pretty nice shirt. I think it was a polo, but certainly nothing, nothing like what these guys are wearing. They looked awesome. So we walk up to the counter, it's like buy tickets to get in, and they were like, they said verbatim, like, y'all want to party with us? <laughs> we were like, uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. You know, thinking it's a comedy club. So they're like, y'all want to party with us? <laughs> like, uh, I guess. I was just trying to listen to some comedy, but I guess that works. 
I'll party with you guys, you look fresh as fuck. <laughs> we get in. And there's like there's like food, drinks, and and we, we hang out for a little bit. And we're waiting for the opening acts to come on. And it's just they just haven't started yet. It's like eleven o'clock at night. And there have been no opening acts, so we're, so we're starting to get an inkling that something's kind of going wrong. And people are up and dancing and just having a grand old time here. And they start doing these contests of like best dressed men, best dressed woman, um, best looking couple. And 30 rolls around and we're like, this is definitely not the comedy club. <laughs> like, what the fuck did we just pay to get into? <laughs> Turns out, it's this group, I forget the name of the group, but it's this group that just goes around the country from like event to event and hosts these, sure, and hosts these dance parties for like older black couples <laughs> and I'm here this 20, 22 year old guy at the time with this 22 year old white chick what? I didn't want to get stuck again through this part yeah you need to do that so when you get that uh like it's a dual board let's, let's go, go to that Amish greenhouse I actually was looking at it <laughs> I want to go see the perennials! At first I thought it said animals, and then I was like, oh. Well, I did a petting suit real hard right now. Exactly, I was like, hell yeah, I want to go milk a cow. I want to go pet some geese. I want to feed this a goat's butthole. 